I think it's clear that uh, when the crisis struck, the countries that were most uh, badly hit were in southern Europe and to some extent in Ireland as well. And that you see reflected in the, in the level of resistance in those countries. Whereas in northern Europe, uh, the response to the crisis of many people, perhaps the majority of the population, was uh, the fear that uh, money would have to be spent to bail out uh, the, our, our southern European, uh, European neighbours. So I, I, I think I have to say that the European elite could claim some, some success, that, um, that the solidarity was much too weak in the north and the ability to respond to austerity measures that spread across Europe was, uh, was very insufficient. The TTIP movement is, is kind of a different animal because TTIP is very much about democracy. It, um, it, uh, you could say it hits um, the population in a more even way. Uh, it was, uh, I think, in Northern Europe, a very big provocation, to, not just to, uh, to, to, well, to the middle classes as well. And that enabled, uh, and, and TTIP at the same, same time strikes so many different interests so that it was able that it's it's not that strange that in northern europe you could create a movement based on that and not on not uh, against austerity uh, the city's uh, left wing project emerged at a time when there was no political space in europe especially in the european union to follow a different path of economic development and the European uh, economic and political elite were hell-bent on stopping that project. And the European institutions and the rules of the European institutions provided excellent tools to do that. I think the political conclusion is that uh, for a progressive Europe to emerge, we will have to uh, confront the EU institutions and we will have to question the rules that govern the European Union at the moment. Mm -hmm. It would be a disaster if uh, the left in Europe and social movements in Europe were not able to respond collectively to the challenges that are um, the same for everyone. Uh, however, I think um, there is a big uh, in the future. Um, we need to rethink uh, the way those coalitions work. The link between uh, the transnational demonstrations uh, uh, the transnational coalitions and struggles at the local and national level are at the moment, I believe, very weak. And that's a key, uh, that's a key weakness of those coalitions. Mm -hmm. I believe they fail to connect uh, national and local struggles to the European level.